quite funny news. This is courtesy of Hype Beast. David Hockney's London Underground redesign upsets the internet. For some reason, the legend David Hockney got commissioned to do these, um, you know, what what would you call it? Would you call it an installation? Would you call it a piece of an exhibition? Would you call it some artwork specifically for the Piccadilly Circus? But regardless, he got us to redesign um, the signages around Piccadilly Circus. And I don't know, looking at it, it looks a bit shit. Again, I'm a big David Hockney fan. I've been to a few of his exhibitions here in the UK. Um, you know, I've got a few of his books too a couple of landscaping ones specifically so definitely someone that i kind of look up to in terms of artists that i'm kind of em trying to emulate in the stuff that i do but this is just this is pretty pathetic isn't it like in terms of just the the overall look of it forget effort the effort thing i'm not really i don't have a a good argument against it because i just don't think it's an irrelevant question you know how some people especially normies are like oh um artists nowadays especially contemporary artists they don't really you know try too hard it's all really crap they say they put a chair in the middle of the room and that's a piece of artwork but it's like it's art's always been like that it's always been somewhat conceptual it's always been kind of left up to the eye it's always been up to the um the viewer to basically interpret what they want from the artwork but there's no real you know there's no real kind of um, artistic merit or difference between someone being able to paint an amazing oil painting and also being able to create and also also be able to create some weird insulation. They all kind of have the similar level of value. But in terms of just a design, right, in terms of straight up design, this does look fairly horrendous, doesn't it? You have to admit, it does look very, very shit. There's no denying that whatsoever. Um, but again, maybe this is part of the process. Once you're someone like a David Hockney and you've been grandfathered into the in industry and you're somebody that people always sort of like, you know, speak about in glowing terms, nor really has any real meaningful critique about the work he does because, again, he's a legend. These are one of the perks of being a legend. You just get us, you get commissioned projects that you're basically allowed to just, you know, um, turn up on and steal a living with and no one really bats an eyelid but this is pretty shit isn't it i wouldn't mind getting a picture next to some of these pieces just so i can say i've got it on my phone but as an actual piece itself this is fairly horrendous i would have loved to have seen what the actual staff at the underground had to say that work there when they saw this stuff being installed like what were their thoughts and feelings but this is insane it says here um Renowned English painter David Hockney takes over Piccadilly Circus Station, but um, didn't quite receive the positive reception from the internet. The mayor of London said he can't launch a massive tourism campaign entitled Let's Do London in hopes of reuniting residents and visitors with the great capital of England. To set off the initiative, David Hockney creates a new public installation by redesigning iconic um, TFL logo at the Piccadilly Circus. So I guess in an effort to get people out, they want to have a David Hockney um, redesigning Piccadilly Circus because I guess it's fairly central and then people could travel there to get pictures which would then help with the tourism stuff and variety of London I don't know it's a bit like a bullshit idea but hey we continue um, Hockney's reinterpretation is an old school Microsoft paint twist on the trademark logo in yellow and purple with the S is of the circus hanging below the rest of the name can't to Twitter to share the latest design and the internet had the field day with their opinions you got here a reply from Specsavers say see me. You got a reply from Ross McGuinness that says bollock with the S uh, at the bottom as well. You got someone called Josh Scully that says it looks awful. I generally thought a child had done it, and to think of the struggling local artist that could have really done something great with that commission. But let's be real, in it, no one's gonna hire a local artist to redesign the logo for Piccadilly Circus because no one's gonna care. If you want to boost tourism and you want to get more people to travel on the underground and go to Pacific the Station to do a bit of sightseeing, they're only gonna go if there's an artist that they recognise. You know. Um, and Hockney definitely falls into one of those sort of household names. No one's going to hire your friend who, you know, just graduated from Goldsmith to go and redesign that logo. It's just not going to happen, unfortunately. It is what it is. It continues. It says a, a guy called Jay Beecher said it looks like a contest entry from a toddler. Designer logo combining. <laughs> My toes are looking funny. And then you got someone that uploaded a picture of the... Was that? that that's from Microsoft that's from Microsoft, isn't it? Microsoft PowerPoint, I'm pretty sure, where you could do those little graphic stuff that I did when you were in school and you were, when I did um yeah, that was actually A level graphics. So you did this sort of like, you know, flyer design. It says graphic design is my passion. You've got another tweet here from a person called Luke Benson who says, London, David, you said that you had something to do something for us today. Crashing noise. David, are you there? Panic scribbling sound. David, yes, yes, just sending now. <laughs> so they're accusing him of maybe just doing it last minute, which is hilarious. 
Another one says, ah, oh, it's a shame London isn't packed with creative artists who had a really rough year <laughs> and could have used both the money and the exposure for this to provide while also being a brilliant showcase of the city's diversity, pride and passion. Also, those are shit you've been had. Yeah, for sure. That's maybe the best argument that could be had with it, right? Instead of actually hiring underground unknown artists, which is never going to happen, they could have maybe gone to the tier just below David Hockney and then enlisted some of those artists to maybe redesign some key iconic London stations in order to get people to sightsee. That would have been fairly cool. But I would imagine a lot of them maybe just said no, plainly, or they're busy, or they just couldn't afford them. Imagine how much it costs to commission a whole group of artists to do a collection of these, you know, underground station redesigns. It's probably not going to be cheap. I would imagine so. They're probably not going to be cheap. But yeah, big up David Hockney for using his notoriety and his clout to basically phone in a job, in it? To basically do a job, lastminute.com, uh, do it to the bare, the minimum required necessary in order to get paid. And yeah, he's living his best life, in it? He's living his best life.